there's a question that Gallup has been asking for many years, which is, uh, what's the most important national problem? And it's a shocking result. We're finding that voters are saying the coronavirus is the number one issue, not the economy, not jobs. And on that issue, the president is behind the eight ball. It's almost six out of 10 uh, um, Americans are saying that they're not pleased with how the president has handled this. You've got, you know, the evidence that he did not move quickly and that this led to uh, unfortunate results. Larry, you think we obviously led, disagree on that. You think he led up the right, he picked up the first memo that came in in January and started action? Larry, when he was cutting off travel, when he was making an incredible uh, a decision that, quite frankly, I wondered what we were doing and suddenly uh, uh, stopping travel. Uh, he was called a xenophobe. He was called a racist. I mean, by the very people that are running against him. And, and now, now they say he didn't act quick enough. Well, I think on testing, on, on building up of supplies of ventilators, this yeah. is a, a, among nonpartisan types. I think there's a consensus that, that we lost a month and maybe more. We lost March uh, and we lost part of April and really ginning things up. Once we understood it, the president knew in January, maybe he could have acted sooner in February. So that's one concern. Then you've got the president you know, recommending ingesting bleach. Then you've got the president, you know, talking about this medicine, uh, hydrochloroquine, that's, not, that's now been withdrawn by the FDA in terms of preventing C-19. I'm just listing this because we're going to see it in plenty of Democratic ads about the president. And they're responding to the same polls that you're looking at, which yeah. is saying that the coronavirus and the president's handling of it is a dire concern and it's a threat to the country. Well, I think a lot's gonna change in the next few months. This uh, pandemic was uh, realized in March. Uh, there hasn't been much time. I think there are a lot of Americans, uh, Larry, that uh, you know they started out looking for a savior. Somebody please come save me. Uh, they were fine with these governors uh, shutting down their states. But you know what, the longer it went and when these elected officials started picking winners and losers, uh, you started to see a division. Some people want to make that a partisan division. I don't. I think there are people who said, I'm smart enough to figure out what I need to do. Just give me the information. I think that as we get stronger, as we get more confident, as we start to understand what we're really dealing with, uh, things are going to change very quickly. People in America are not going to live like this. People are not going to live in their basements afraid of something they can't see. Uh, you know, you can spin whatever you want. And I've seen a lot of this and I'm not going litigate to litigate it with you today. We clearly have a difference of opinion. But again, I told you at the beginning, it's not my job to defend what they're doing. Yeah. They will do whatever they're going to do. And, and, and I, my I, job is to make sure my constituents know that I think it's a very serious issue and that we're going to make sure that the vaccine is developed. We're going to make sure that when this happens again, if it ever does, that we're better prepared. And I think if the coronavirus is in fact something that's under control um, and we don't see surges in the fall as we are now in the South, we don't see a second wave that mixes with the flu season, um, you're probably right that the economy is gonna play a larger role. But if in fact we see those uh, you know, scary scenarios that Dr. Fauci and others are warning about as real possibilities, I think we're gonna see voters going back to that issue. Thank you.